What's up fools? How's it going? Welcome to another video and today we are making a pirate ship. Let's begin. So you just saw the clips and I made this as a collaboration with Aramis Merlin. We went to Laguna Beach and they have a little pirate tower there. And to enhance the visual a little, we decided, you know what, we're going to make a little joke out of it. Let's say there is an actual pirate ship. If you don't know who I'm talking about, check out Aramis Merlin's video. It's down in the description below. But now let's figure out how to make this effect. The thing is, I'm making this effect while I'm explaining it to you how I make it. So this is probably going to be a very long video. So take your time, get some popcorn, don't get some popcorn, play some music and let's hang out and let's make some cool, great piece of cinema visual effect. Let's go. So Aram has sent me a couple of different clips and I can decide where I want to put the pirate ship in. And I make it dependent on different factors like how good is the tracking going to be? How easy is it going to be to implement the pirate ship into the footage? Let's take a look at the clips. So this is shot on his actual camera. So I'm thinking putting the pirate ship somewhere. Let's go back somewhere here just dip it into the water so i'm gonna have some tracking information through those rocks and through the background and then i can put it back here in 3d probably in blender in addition i have drone shots i can use we have this tower right here so i could be putting this uh, um, pirate ship over here somewhere again here i'm gonna have enough tracking information for real that shouldn't be a problem. But now I'm just trying to pick the best shot to um, make it look cool. So I like the moving shots of so the first one. I definitely like that's one of my favorites. Second one, not so much. This one is interesting, but the pirate ship would be like somewhere here, like cut off. So it's not really in focus, which is not a big problem, but um, just something to keep in mind. Uh, here, probably not. That one would be a good one. I have enough tracking information here. And so I can put the ship somewhere here. That's a little short though, but it's not a bad thing. Less frames to render. I think we have a winner. It's going to be this one. For the drone shot. shot. I'm probably going to start with the drone shot too. So um, it's going to be interesting. I don't know how good it's going to uh, turn out. But uh, let's try our best because Aramis, he has lots of viewers and uh, I don't want to disappoint them with shitty visual effects. We start with saving up our um, file in case something crashes, which is very likely to happen with a big effect like this. Okay, my default scene starts with my little Mihal and the camera. We don't need the camera in this case, but I'm going to keep Mihal. Because it's going to help me to see, okay, how big is this ship in the space? Because he's exactly like six and a half feet tall. So I'm going to keep him. So the first thing I do is I go up here to motion tracking and bring in my my drone shot. Mm -hmm. This is my drone shot. Now I need to track it. I'm going to just skip through this process because I made a whole tutorial on that. If you're interested in seeing how to track footage to put stuff in there, feel free to watch it. But for this video, I just try to do it as quickly as possible. So this video is not going to get too long. So now uh, I need to add my little spaceship, pirate ship. Spaceship is probably for a different video. And the good thing is I have uh, this little library of models and here I can just go on pirate and just drag and drop a pirate ship in here. <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? And it already looks pretty good. Now let's see how it moves in my 3D scene. It looks pretty sick, pretty nice. Now I just uh, rotate it the way I want. I think I want it like this, maybe, or like this. Let's do like this. 
I even have another one. Let's, let's just compare them, which one looks better. So I have those two. And I think I like the bigger one better. So let's get rid of this one. It even has materials on it and everything. And now the tricky part is to make it look like it's in the water because the water is just floating through it basically. So what am I going to do? I'm going to add another plane. Move it the same way where this thing is. Scale it up. It's kind of big enough for every direction. When I ignore it, I don't need this floor. There you go. Now it's actually in the water. I can bring it up or down the way I want it to, how deep I want it in the water. Let's say like this. Now I have to make it look like it's part of the ocean. And that's really the difficult part. And actually I was pretty nervous before I started this because it's the first time I'm doing something like that. So let's hope for the best. But before I do that, I'm going to apply the scale. Scale. Now I'm going to give it an ocean modifier. So here in this viewport, you see already there are some kind of interesting waves. So now I have to animate this thing. Okay, so I'm going to animate the time of this. I just set a little keyframe. I'm going to bring this to frame number one. I'm going to go to the last frame. I'm going to change the time. Make another keyframe and see the way it looks. See how it's doing the wave thing. Pretty cool. Okay, we're getting closer here. I know it might not look like anything yet, but it's uh, going to be great. But we're going to make the ship move a little. To make this ship move a little back and forth, I'm going to see. I want to rotate it a little on the X axis. So for that. I'm going to give it a keyframe. I'm going to delete Y and Z by the first frame. And then uh, I'm going to give it a modifier, a noise modifier. Now you see it's moving, obviously too crazy. I'm going to increase the scale. That way it's going to move slower. But right now it looks like it's crazy waves, but it's not. To make it more subtle, I decrease the strength. Okay, that looks good. It's still a little too fast, if you ask me, because it's a pretty big ship. It wouldn't be impacted like that by those little waves. I'm going to increase the scale even more. And just to give it a little more movement, just a little, I'm going to animate the Z ax manually. I'm going to move it from this to Rotate Z. Let's do this way. Another keyframe. Again, I'm going to delete the Y. So now it's just rotating a little bit this way. Just small, small adjustments, you know? Now when I look at it, it might even dip too far in the water. So I'm going to go back to my modifier. And... Decrease the strength, it's 0 0.3, so 0 0.2. Okay, I like this better. And those two, I'm going to remove the interpolation, the keyframe interpolation, so now it just moves linear. Okay, that looks great. When I look through this in the actual view, it would look way different because, let me just turn this on real quick, cycles when you look through cycles this is the actual view you get in the end and as you can see it's completely dark why because i don't have any light sources in here and for that i'm going to fix it real quick by giving it an hdri again i talked about this a lot in my other tutorials but an hdri is basically um a 360 image spherical in that case uh, i'm going to use like ocean or yeah something what um is similar to the lighting i have already and i'm going to add this and then it's going to look like it's actually lit 
And all I need to do is bring the light source, the sun in that case, to the right angle. And for that, I'm going to see where is the sun actually coming from. So I'm looking for shadows right now. But also, because I was there while we were shooting it, I know it was afternoon. I know this here back there is west. So the sun has to be somewhere here on the left along the x-axis. So when I go through my view here, turn my plane back on, I see my little shadow. Now I'm going to rotate my sun that the, that the light source is coming from the same direction. Okay, I don't want to see my HRI, so I'm going to turn this off. But before I do that, I'm going to download a higher res version of my HRI so the lighting information is a little more high res so it doesn't look too bad. Here you can see it got downloaded, so it looks better now. And here you see the HRI, what it looks like. So we have water here, which is good. We have concrete, and basically it looks very similar to our uh, real scene. But just so we know what we're doing, I'm going to turn this off so we don't see it through the viewport. Transparent. There you go. Okay, see those rocks are more in the shadow from the front than our ship. So I might need to move my HDRI a little even further back. Yeah, so it's more sight lit. I think that'll do. It's very hard to say because I don't really have real shadows here. Let's see, maybe our tower has some information. Yeah. So the light definitely comes from the left. But that works. Unfortunately, I can't really watch through this view because, you know, it doesn't really render that fast. But it's a great start. I'm going to make my my ship uh, a real object. Right now it's just an instance. Because now when I go to post mode, I can adjust a few things. Like this thing. I could make those move individually and I probably will. I'm just going to see what else I can do. I'm just going to give them all a little noise modifier in the rotation. See, so they're all just moving a little individually. Not too crazy though. Point three. Those little details just matters because it's like if it's just a stiff boat, but just not really alive, that wouldn't feel real. So that's why I'm adding all those things. Okay, I'm going to move my ship into a, a own collection to keep my stuff organized here. Now I want to see what happens if I um, make my object, my little plane here, if I just make it a shadow catcher instead of, you know, being actually in there, if I make it a shadow catcher, if that might solve our problems. It doesn't look too bad, but I think it needs like a little more waves. So I'm going to go back to the modifier. Yeah, I think this is good. All right, cool. This is our first shot. And now we see if we can do the same thing with another shot. And for that, I'm going to start a new Blender file. So I'm going to render this later. So again, we're going to track our footage. So I'm going to delete my main camera, go to motion tracking, open, not open. I'm going to just drag and drop it in here. Pirate's camera. And uh, see if we get to track this footage. Now we're gonna add our uh, little uh, ship, pirate. By the way, fun fact, we were here at Treasure Island. So that's why everything is so cool that it's actually, we have a Treasure Island. But now we have this boat, this ship sitting on our beach. That's obviously what not what we want. We want it somewhere here in the back. Yeah, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to give it an HDRI. Uh, same one we used in the other one, preferably. Ocean. 
And again, we have to rotate the HRI to match the lighting of our scene. So the light has to come from the other direction. To see better, I'm going to make it not transparent. So right now the sun is coming from where we are, but we want to rotate this. Nice. So it's nice and backlit. Always looks cinematic. There you go. And what I did before, made it a little move. I'm going to do that now. Go to item, see which angle, which direction does it have to rotate, not Y. It has to move towards X. So I'm going to animate the X axis, delete Y, delete Z, and give it a noise modifier. There you go. Increase the scale so it's slower. Decrease the strength, 0.3, if I recall. The bigger your object, the slower it moves because it's not going to get impacted by the water that much. As long as it's moving a little, that'll do. Cool. I like the way it moves. And now uh, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to give this thing a plane right underneath, scale it up, apply the scale, and now I'm going to give this a little, um, well, first of all, I'm going to give it a subdivision surface, simple, five, Five, that just gives it a little more geometry. And I'm going to give it another modifier, the ocean. I'm going to animate the time. Nice. Now I'm going to make this thing a shadow catcher. Now when I look through my cycles view, it's going to be perfectly cut off and in the water. The beautiful thing is, just in the other shot, you see how harsh those shadows are. It was a very gloomy day, and the shadows are not going to be that harsh. So I can adjust all of that in, uh, in post, basically. And also, one more thing. You see, that, that's like a thing. Uh, let me turn on um, my background properly. You see in the distance how blue the background is and how not blue the foreground. It's because of the atmosphere. And the further something is away from the camera, the bluer it gets in nature. And right now my ship is perfectly, you know, as if it was right in front of the camera. Uh, this is something I add in, in post. I'm going to make it a little bluer, a little more maybe transparent, you know, just to embed it more into the environment. But for now, let's see at the animation. I can't really look at it in cycles. But yeah, that looks good. I'm going to make this thing a little bigger just in case. Also, my ship, I'm going to also animate the movement. Okay, now it's moving in every direction a little. Of course, it's always hard to imagine what is this thing actually going to look like in the end because this view here is not the perfect view the way it's going to be. So it's a lot of try and error. Then I have to export the entire thing, which can take hours, sometimes days. And then I have to look at it, see how something is wrong with it. I have to do it again and until it's perfect. But that's the secret of making something perfect. You have to move this, you know, this fuck it moment. Okay, it's good enough moment. You have to move this moment as far into the future as possible. Then you get the perfect results. And it always depends on how important the project is. In that case, I want to really do a good job. So error miss... Uh, audience and it's going to be fooled that there's an actual pirate ship let's hope it's going to work but then you know he's going to reveal it's just an effect and not uh, an actual thing but that's basically it um if you have any questions uh, about this process please let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions how to make those things better Write them down in the comments too because I'm going to benefit. The other people who are going to read those comments are going to benefit. So if you're smarter than me, and I'm sure you are, write it down in the comments. 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out Aramis's video because I'm sure it's going to be pretty cool. I haven't seen it yet because we just recorded it yesterday, so it's all fresh. But I hope you're going to have a great rest of your day and see you in the next video. Toodoo-doo! Oh. <laughs>